Well, in this heat, less is more when it comes to makeup, but there are some steps in your beauty routine that can't be missed. Beauty EQ editor Trudy Brewer is here to share her Summer Essentials checklist so you can glow from your head to your toe. Good morning, it's really nice to see you. How nice you to today? see you too. I'm good. good yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm very strict on summer sunscreen. I'm just thinking that you're, you are doing, you're walking the walk today. You are less is <laughs> more glad. today. So, oh no, yeah. yeah. Well, I think in summer, you know, your skin, you, the temperature really dictates the products you can use. Yes, because otherwise it just ends up all smearing down well, your face. Well, it does. But there are some goodies that I've brought in today to share. Lovely, because women love a to-do list. I like a little tick, tick, I tick, do tick, too. tick, tick, tick. So hit us with it. What's the first step in our summer beauty checklist? Well, always SPF, yeah. and I think we should be doing that 360 days of the 65 days of the year um, and top up during the day as and well top I didn't realise yeah, that we talked about that and we need to do it um, in a sunscreen edit actually because we can talk yeah. a lot about sunscreen but also I think you've got to look at the textures so as your skin heats up your textures textures need to be more um, creamy right and they actually need to be able to move with the heat of your skin so SPF always boost your skincare routine with antioxidants because they're like a backup to the SPF because they actually do help fight rad free radicals as well and they actually prevent you from getting sun damage. Um, and then exfoliate and we can talk a little bit about that soon as well. And then again, look at what you're wearing. Be strategic with bronzer. Okay. How do you lighten up on makeup and still look good? Because you've done it today and you look beautiful. Uh, well, wait till we see the record of this show. <laughs> my, I may think differently. I think really it's about prepping your skin. So your SPF goes first, then maybe a BB cream, because again, that's usually got an SPF in it. So you're double loading your SPF. Um, a cream bronzer or a cream eyeshadow. Right. Have your lashes tinted. I hate waterproof mascara. I don't know how many people complain about how it pulls out your eyelashes. Yes. Maybe I haven't found the holy grail, but I don't like it, so I don't bother. I usually tint my lashes or get lash extensions in summer. And then gloss is really on trend, but there's a whole new move towards liquid lipstick, and they are great in the sun because mm. in the summer because they stain your lips rather than looking gooey and your hair blowing into the gloss. Um, sun cream can be quite confusing yeah. so do you have a checklist of what to buy for your face versus your body or I, should it just be as much as possible everywhere i think you need a face and body um that's why a lot of women buy a sunscreen makeup you know a, a baby cream or a foundation with sunscreen in it don't waste your time on anything less than spf 50 and what i think people get lulled into is the fact that they've got an SPF 100 yes. and I think that I wish they'd take them off the market because people think I've got an SPF 100 I'm done for 100 hours that's actually not how it works right now burn time's about 15 minutes in November but hit summer and it's about three minutes mm. so your SPF protects you protects you three times 50 which is not that long if you're in the pool, outside gardening. Yes. So you do need to reapply. And I, do, I think we can't rely on sunscreen alone. We have to wear clothes, hats, sunglasses, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's really certainly up that in, in my 40s. You do, but you do notice how quickly yeah. you get burnt. I got burnt on the weekend in the garden, you Labor so Weekend. Responsible. I know, and I had sunscreen, hat, shirt, the whole lot mm, on. Absolutely. So it, and the weather's getting really hot. It is. And what about our feet? Do our feet have to be in tip-top shape because we're about to wear sandals? And, I know. Well, know. I'm hiding mine because I haven't done <laughs> my um, toenails. I think really um, exfoliating sort of a sugar scrub or something like that as your friend. Get something that's affordable that you can leave in the shower and exfoliate at night. Now, why I say that is you exfoliate your skin and get rid of all that old tan, get yeah. off that top layer of skin, but then you rush outside and your new, beautiful, freshly exfoliated skin is sensitive. So exfoliate the night before, put on a body moisturiser and then put your recipe on in the morning. So you give your, sort of, your skin 12 hours to recover from that exfoliation. That is such a great tip. All right, so show us what you've brought in today so we know how to create these wonderful well, summer looks. This arrived this week and I think it's really good. You need to give it a good shake because it's quite liquidy, but I am a fan of mineral screens and that's oh, yeah. called HelioCare 360 Mineral Tolerance Fluid SPF 50 for your face. Now you probably could use it on your body as well, but I think face is great. Yeah. It's quite liquidy. Um, you only need a tiny oh, yeah. amount <laughs> and it spreads beautifully. Now the reason I brought it in is because it's packed with antioxidants. So you've got your vitamin C, vitamin E, green tea, and they've got this um, ingredient. There's quite a lot there. You'll be yeah, running for a while. Yeah. Yeah, they've got this ingredient, for an extract from fern called fern block, which is the boosting antioxidant you need to scavenge all those free radicals in the sun. So not only does it actually give your skin a physical block from the sun, yeah. 
the, the antioxidants and it worked really it's well. It's quite as luminous well. as well. Would you mix that in with your foundation? I would put that on first, yes. wait 10 minutes, yes. and then put your foundation yeah, great. on. I like it, it's got a nice texture. It's really nice and it's natural, 100% natural. Wow. And so many people react to sunscreen. I think that's yeah, a good Yeah, my kids do actually. Yeah, and they get a rash, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. Um, I was talking before about the sugar scrub. This is a goodie. This arrived this week too. Um, a body sugar scrub in your shower. Just use really, one of those gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen dollars at the you know pharmacy. I think it's a really goodie. But what people don't know probably is that sugar has glycolic acid in it. So it's not only a mechanical scrub with the sugar that is gritty, yeah. but the AHA or the alpha hydroxy acid, yes. which is glycolic, actually eats up all those dead skin cells as well. Oh. So that is good for those dry feet. Oh, that's a great idea. There's no point okay. buying your Gucci slides if you haven't got no, nice looking that's feet. that's right. Yeah, fabulous. Okay, So you, can, right. you can buy your Gucci slides because it's only $18. <laughs> um, and then um, for lips, there's a couple of little liquid lipsticks that have launched this week. Um, so Jane Idale, I'm using my phone today to look at my notes because my print has cracked out on me. She's, um, a, she's a natural makeup lady, 100% natural. Yeah. And look, I've got to say that I do bang on about this a lot, but I yeah. get a lot of correspondence from people saying, I want to wear natural makeup. And you know, you Ooh, eat 50 50 kilos of lipstick a year, yeah. so I mean, that's a that's a, a no-brainer really. So again, that's plant oils and vitamin E, again that antioxidant to protect your skin against dryness. That's a and really nice texture. It's a beautiful colour yeah. and texture, it's a gloss, yeah. but it actually is more, it's more of a stain so it lasts it dry, on the lips dries, because you know yeah. with summer you don't want it bleeding. Um, and Clarins, another favourite brand of mine, they've got a new... Um, I guess it is a gloss lipstick, but it's got a velvet matte texture. Um, and this one is called Velvet Lip Protector. Again, full of plant oils. Really lovely. I used that one yesterday. I really like it. That's a lovely colour. Um, and finally, the hair mask. This is another newie. It, it ended up in my um, mailbox yesterday, this one. So this one's from Schwarzkopf, another one in your pharmacy. $15, you know, a big tub. They call it a four-in-one repair treatment. Oh, it smells so good. And the protein and cocoa butter. And you just you can just put that on through. If you've got oily hair too, a lot of women say, yes. my hair's too oily for a mask, just put it on mid-lengths to ends and just wrap your hair in that hot towel. Rinse it off in warm water and you're away. Love it. Thank you for bringing those things from your letterbox into my oh, home today. Nice to see absolute you. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> you too. And for more from Trudy, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.